Hey everybody, so I've got some more things to share with you. So I recently, oh well, I say recently, I always go in charity shops. If there's a charity shop, I will go in there. And I went into, this one was the Air Ambulance and they had this bag here, which I still haven't opened. And I do need some new white embossing powders. So I'm hoping, I think I did see one in here and then they were, they were all different ones. So this one is a Ranger Bridal um, embossing tinsel so that looks really nice like an iridescent color there you can see and then this one is wow clear gloss super fine so that's white so that's perfect that's what i was after is that super fine then i've got white pearl super fine oh so that's sorry clear gloss so that's going to be nice to go over the top of like um if you stamp in black like a versafine it's still quite wet you can sprinkle this over the top and then it will just give your black stamp a nice gloss this one is white pearl that was the one i saw and then this one is bonding powder i don't think i've ever used bonding powder so i need to have a look at that one to create metallic foiled foil and iron to create metallic foiled images i have to have a little look at that sprinkle powder onto wet ink and tap off excess and then heat to cure and then cover with wow foil oh so this is a sticky is that what that would be? I think that's a sticky one. I will have a look. And then we've got, this is the Hero Arts embossing powder, clear. So I've got two clear ones there, but that's okay. And again, these are all pretty full. Look, you can see, you can usually tell if it's been used because if you dump the excess back in, you usually get little bits. You know, sometimes I get bits that are on my desk, like go back into the, the tub like that one there. I can see like a little, you know, random piece there. So that's probably been used a couple of times. This one here. So that whole bag as well. Did I say how much that was? It was two pound, <laughs> which is a bargain. This one here was a pound. This is an embossing powder. Sticky. So that one I know you can use with your foils. So yeah, so I've got I've got one of the white, which was what I wanted. And then I've got some clear. I've got the bonding. That glitter one's gorgeous. And then this one here, which is clear. So anyway, for the price, absolute steal. And then I saw these, which were... I haven't got the price on it again. It wasn't much, pounds, something like that. And they're clear glass microbeads, but I thought they'd be, they look like sand. And I thought it'd be really nice for shakers and also on my under the sea kind of projects. But also you could use it as snow as well. You can see that it's super, super fine. So it should stick quite nicely. And this one, it says here, Creative Expressions uh, 2014. So it's pretty old, but still works fine. So I'm going to be using that. So success from that shop. And then uh, I think this might have been the same one, actually, Air Ambulance. I got some really good punches, which I shared in the last What Did I Get? And these ones here, these are X-Cut brand. And this is EK Tools, I think. And I haven't got scallop squares. So these are dinky. This is like half an inch and that is three quarters of an inch. So I'll be, what I need to do is take a photo, keep it in my, um, in my notes on my phone. So I know the punches I've got. Like I said in the last, what did I get? Punches are great. I use them a lot for my scraps videos, but also just for speed sometimes, you know, the slightly bigger ones are great for cutting out sentiments and these just make nice embellishments. And the heart ones, again, are great if you, you know, want to punch a ton and have little shakers or confetti, things like that. I then picked these ones up from the RSPCA 30p. I don't know if they're still going to work, but these here are, they're called musical tunes, but it's the wedding march. And I just thought, how cool would that be on a wedding card? So I'm hoping it's going to work. I've got no plans to make a wedding card as of yet, but I will try and remember to use these when I do go to make one. It obviously has to be a card that's going to open rather than like one of my kind of pop-ups, you know, the 3D kind of cards. Add beautiful music to your handmade cards. Let me know if you've ever used these. They're pretty old. Uh, there's no date on the back of this one. But just judging from the packaging and the card picture here, the image, it looks like this is, you know, yeah, got some age to it. So fingers crossed they still work. I haven't checked them or anything yet. But uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know if you've got those ones. And then I've just taken the package off, but I also found this. So it's £4.00. And it's just filled with a ton of silver and gold cardstock. But this is more of a paper, which is actually quite good for mats and layers. Because sometimes the, some of the gold and silvers, it's, it's a cardstock. It can add quite a lot of bulk and weight to your cards. Whereas this is, yeah, really lightweight. So beautiful as well. That's more of like a, you know, rusty, deeper kind of gold. And this is a little bit more, um, not quite matte, but it's not as shiny, shiny, but it's still lovely. 
again for four pound for all of that it's a bargain and then by the time this video goes out it probably would have been quite a few weeks since this offer was on but craft stash had 20 percent off off their inks on the website plus i got my vip 10 percent so it made these refills for the distress oxide um, ink pads very well cheaper than they were anywhere else on the web i did get quite a few because i thought at that price just go for it get them all you know it was um, more than i would want to pay out but if i was to buy them individually as and when long term i'd be paying out a lot more money so this worked out cheaper so it's not every color but it's a big big chunk of them so i've only got a few more left to get so i'm just going to wait now until there's i see another good deal but like i said 20 percent off plus then my 10 percent vip and i also had some points as well my craft stash points so it it, it wasn't as <laughs> it wasn't as um scary on the old bank balance as um as i thought it would be i love using my distress oxides and there are quite a few that do need re-inking and i've got the whole collection bar one which is the latest one um because it was sold out on craft stash so i'll get that when it comes back into stock but yeah so i i did get them it was a bit of a splurge but like i said i did save quite a lot with my points the 20 percent, and my vip on top so i did say that these videos might be pieced together and have you know maybe two or three videos in one so uh it's another week now and i popped into another charity shop and i got these three really nice tonic studio punches i've only got one little flower punch so these I thought would be great for, again, when I do my scraps videos, that's when I tend to use my punches. And when I do scrapbook layouts as well, which I haven't done for a long, long time, but um, I do need to do them. And I just punch them just so you can see how they look. So they're all slightly different. So you've got one there that's more circular with the petals. That was a bit more over with a point. And then you've got that one that's like kind of a bit triangular. Really cute. And I think if you layer those up, even different ones in different kind of maybe different shades of red or purples, whatever colour you want to use. I think they look really nice and then a little embellishment in the middle. So glad I got hold of them. They were £1.50 each. Then I picked up this ribbon here, 10 metres from Hobbycraft, and it's the Union Jack. And I'm using this for my for the King's coronation uh, decorations that I'm doing and like gift bags and stuff, which by the time this video goes out would have already been up. So I'll link them up here if you want to see what I did with this. I just thought it was going to make really nice handles uh, on the gift bags that I do. And then whilst I was also in Hobbycraft, I saw these, these card packs, 180 GSM, which is a bit lower than I usually go for. I just loved the colour packs that they do here. So you've got your violet hues, you've got your garden greens, you've got summer fruits, think pink and ocean breeze this was actually my favorite one i just love those colors together they were five pound a pack you get 40 sheets like i said they're not really card base weight but they're great for mats and layers or if you do use them as a card base then do make sure you you know add the mats and layers to them but i'll just open up one of the packs i believe all the plastic now on here is recyclable yeah so the inserts recyclable and the wrap don't recycle at home, but recycle with bags at large supermarkets. A lot of us in the UK do have those at stations now, so that's good. You can see here. Oh, <laughs> that one's clearly faded on the front where that's been. In fact, yeah, look at the difference there. But that's okay. You can always use the other side, so that's all right. But yeah, so it's it's still okay for a card blank. And even like little small gift bags is going to be fine with this weight as well. But I think it's going to be more for mats and layers for me. I just love the colours together. You can see there the light pink looks, they just look really nice layered up on top of each other. And we'll just quickly show you this one. These are all going to go into my cubbies in a moment. Again, that one's probably faded as well. Oh no, that one's okay. Look how lovely they look together. Definitely those top three. They're so nice. And they had they had lots of other packs, but these were the ones where they had like all of like the pinks together, all the greens together. It was these ones. There are ones that have, you know, all kind of colours in. So like I said, this video is going to be a lot of videos all patched together. So I've it's another day and I've received this from Creative Craft Products. So a load of new sentiment stamps and new stencils. Me and Lou will be launching all of this. If I remember, I'll link it in the description box below. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new sets here. I'm not going to read every sentiment out. Just check the listings and you'll be able to see them closer there. But you've got love is all you need. You've got 10 stamps on that one. 
sending support sentiments and you've got 16 on this one love all the mixed fonts this one you get 22 this is your craftiness one this one's really cool I'll, well i'll bring it up a bit closer you can see these ones craft a happy life home is where the craft room is eat sleep craft repeat you are the glitter to my glue you color my world craftiness is happiness love all the little images there as well then you've got occasions so that's a mix you've got new home ones there birthday ones wedding ones new adventure uh, that one you get 11 this one you get 21 so this is your birthday sentiments i like these although it's one stamp you can snip those so you could have the happy there and then use that birthday at the bottom this one you get 19 stamps this is thoughtful sentiments so this one says when it rains look for rainbow look for rainbow sorry i am always here for you Again, snip into those if you want. And then that, so you get 19 in that one, and this one's funny sentiments, you get 10. True friend remembers your birthday, not your age. What is better than a friend? A friend of chocolate. In fashion years, you are so vintage. And again, like I said, check out the listings, you'll be able to see those all closer. But really nice, if you like your sentiments, or you're just starting off card making, the Creative Crafts uh, Products brand, brilliant for your basics you've got all your nesting dies in every shape you can think of you've got your tools you've got adhesives you've got like simple card fold dies as well so it does all the folding for you and then all you've got to do is think about your papers and your decoration and it, a lot of it all coordinates really well together as well so so if you're new to my channel new to craft stash and this brand check it out because there's so much there and then these are new stencils so you've got 10 i think it is and these are all six by six, but again, they're going to work on any size card because you don't always have to stencil the whole portion. You might just want to have a few, you know, of the music notes there, like down a DL card or something. So you've got your circuit design, Moroccan trellis, falling triangles, floral mandala. That's lovely. The water stencil, zigzag, floral corner, leafy background heart mandala and the music background there's so many different designs there um i think some have come from their archive as well so if you've been following some of the other brands you might recognize some of these but i think they've changed the sizes as well but i do like that one I think that's really pretty and i love this one as well if you love your stencils check that out and then i always get sent when i do a commission for a magazine they always send all the contributors a complimentary issue so this here is creative stamping issue 121 and you get this a6 leopard print embossing folder and then you get this a4 stamp set and this portion here is by crafty individuals so you can see there you've got your elephant, you've got your lion, you've got your cheetah there, the trees, all the leaves. You've got your animal print there as well, some lovely sentiments. And there's just a few ideas there. And then I'll show you my feature, which again has probably now gone out on my Made to Surprise channel. But I've done this slide and reveal 5x7 card. So that's how it looks closed. And it was using my new farmyard collection. And then when you open it, it reveals this scene with the horse and the scarecrow and the other little sheep there. And then let me just, I don't like to give too much away, but if you've not seen this one yet, let me just find some. Oh, these are nice. I like these ones. There we go. They're really pretty. I love that. That's really nice. Beautiful colours. This is by Vanessa. She does some beautiful cards. Little step by step there, how to create the look. You can see there how they look together. That's lovely actually with the trees in the background. And then you've got your elephant there as well. You've got some like home decor things here as well. 125 creative ideas. So there's so much inside there. So it's now another couple of weeks and this is going to be the last, I think, video that I'm going to add to this. What did I get? So these are brand new 6x6 embossing folders that will be launching on Craft Stash and they're gorgeous. I'll show you each one. So there's 10 new designs here. So I've shared the stencils in this, what did I get video? I'm just trying to remember all the things. So that was a few weeks ago now. 
and now they've got their embossing folders. If you don't know about Creative Craft products, they are all about your basics. So if you're just starting off paper crafting, or even if you know you've been doing it for many, many years, they just do those really good basic um, supplies, glues, all your adhesives and things like that, blending brushes, different tools, it's stamping platform, you know, your scoreboard, embossing folders, stencils. There's just so much on there. So do check it out. Like I said, all the links will be linked below. So we've got this one here, which is a six by six floral oasis. You've got that lovely kind of corner detail, the little bee there. I'm just thinking that they may well be doing a five by seven range as well. I love six by six cards, but I do, I think five by seven is probably my favorite. Then this one here, I recognize this. Some of them, I said it about the stencils. They, they've got an archive, you know, they, they design a lot of their own, um, you know, prints and stuff. So I think some of these are probably from the old creative craft products. So once it got, cause it's been rebranded because this bark one, I'm sure I've had it in five by seven. So it's nice to have it in six by six though as well sometimes because sometimes they just don't quite fit how we want. So love that bark effect. I'm gonna try that with Helen's fabric paper and see how that looks. This one I love, haven't got anything like this in my stash and that just will look perfect with a, with a topper in the middle. So that's your sunburst. Then you've got your gingham one here, which is lovely for Easter cards, but also really good for masculine makes as well. And these look nice offset. So, you know, pass it through your embossing machine and then offset it and maybe use your inks. You can create some lovely effects with that. This one here, again, I had very similar, but it was a small, I would say maybe a four or 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter. It was in a magazine and it's lovely, but this is gonna be really nice for my swing cards because I've got the full leaf embossing folder, but for the swing cards, you have the aperture cut out. So to have that detail around the edge is gonna be really nice. So I like that one. I'm gonna add that in with my uh, Mater Surprise product. Then you've got this one here. Again, I'm sure I had something similar, but it might be in five by seven. So this is your six by six butterflies. Honeycomb, never go wrong with honeycomb. I think we all love bees. Any bee collections that come out always do really well. So this is six by six honeycomb, but these are a bit smaller, which is quite nice. I think one that I've got, they're much, much bigger. This is gorgeous. I love this one. In fact, these two here are one of my favorites. Full floral embossing folders are gorgeous. So I'm looking forward to using these ones for my backgrounds using your different inks, different materials as well. You can emboss so much. So they look really nice. That's your buds and blooms and that's your floral. And then you've got your little dotty embossing folder. I always find anything with spots, dots, things like that, go with loads and they work for, you know, masculine, feminine cards. Pretty much any occasion you can pop this behind. Christmas, you could have it looking like snowfall. So it's a really nice style, that one. And that's, yeah, just your dotty embossing folder. So have a look out for those on the website again. It will be linked below. And then two other things. I just wanted to, oh no, three. <laughs> I'm going to be quick. It's going to take me a while to edit all this. Craft Sash are really good at doing um, licensed paper collections. So they've just recently brought out the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady, which I must confess, I didn't realise was a book. It wasn't until everybody in the chat was telling me how they used to have the book. So that was interesting. But they've, they've done this beautiful eight by eight pad. You can see your papers along the top here and then you get your topper sheets and then you get the ephemera to you know, coordinate. I have already done a card using this and I'll link it up here. It was a little pop-up diorama style card, really lovely. And I did use it in a Facebook Live as well, but I'll be using that a bit more because I think it's very, very sweet. And then my favorite, which I know this is sold out, but I'm gonna add it into the what did I get because reorders have been made. Because some people find this video months down the line, even years down the line, and then it may well still be available. So you've got the little six by six paper pad here. So sweet, the papers are gorgeous, absolutely love these. And again, you get your topper sheets with all your little sentiments that you can cut out. And then you get your ephemera pack. I done the full launch of this on Craft Stash. Again, if I can remember to link that, it will be either here or in the description box. You can see all the sample cards that I made. I need to share them all. I'm not sure if I put them all up on my Facebook page yet. I'll double check actually, um, because you can look there as well. If you remember the magic roundabout from your childhood, then you're gonna have a trip down memory lane, but also they're really lovely images for kids' cards. Let's see if I can remember them all now. So you've got Dougal, you've got Brian the snail, my neighbour is called Brian, so <laughs> I remember that. This was a little bit before my time, but I do remember it being on the TV. Ermintrude the cow, very sweet. You've got, what's he called? M Mr. Henry, McHenry. He's the gardener. 
um, Florence. Not sure who he was though. And Zebedee. Can't forget Zebedee. Zebedee boinging around. And then you've got this other stamp set here to coordinate. So you've got your background kind of stamps here. Nice silhouette stamps, which give you really nice effects and some nice sentiments there as well. So yeah, like I said, I think it's all gone now. It's all sold out. There might be a couple of that one left, um, but keep an eye out. If it's something you've missed and you love it, you can register your email next to the items that are sold out and then you'll get an email when they're back in stock. And then the last thing I just thought I'd show is these two items here, which I recently um, chose on the Craft Sesh website because me and Lou, who's the designer of Textures, this is our second collaboration we've done now. So she chooses some of my Mater Surprise product. I choose some of her Textures product and then we mix it to make a lovely card. And this is the card that I made. So I used, you can see the typewriter there. So I just paper piece that together. I've used it with my 6x6 Magic Colour Slide die, but I've used it in a slightly different way. And also my Love is in the Air stamps. And then you just pull the tab and it reveals the sentiment, take life one chapter at a time, which is this long one here. I just snipped into it. And then inside, create your own beautiful ending, which is this one here. So although these were from two different collections of Lou's, Mariposa and this was her steampunk type, they work perfectly together really enjoyed doing this one so that tutorial is up so i will link that one you can go check that out because maybe you've got this set and you've missed that and then just before i finish this was the card i made with the diary of a country edwardian lady and that's again up on my channel so i will link that it's a really lovely style i've done this before with the paddington bear collection and i also did it as a pond with a fishing well fisherman um it's a tunnel card diorama card it's a few names for it but it's a lovely style so that's everything for this what did i get so i think maybe three or four videos have been patched together for this one but hopefully you know it's just really nice for you to see new product that's available and the bargains that i pick up so let me know if you've got any of this product um like i said i'll share any launches links to videos and all the product everything will be below so just have a little look there i'll also try and have this video and this one maybe popping up here now if i can do that because that's from another channel that's my made to surprise channel on youtube so if you're not subscribed head over there as well so i'm gonna go i'll see you all later as always thank you for watching and i'll be back again soon bye